Equation describing a situation where we have two girls playing football. Bridget throws the football to Caitlin, and Caitlin is 15 yards away from Bridget. So the distance here is 15 yards. Now, the equation of the path of this ball can be described like this the height of the ball in feet. All right, we want to make sure we note that. The height of the ball in feet is equal to the opposite of x squared. Now, x is the distance <clears throat> that the ball is away from Bridget in yards. So we're going to put that. So we got the opposite of x squared over 45 plus 4 x over 3 plus so the question is how high is that ball going to be when it reaches Caitlin if they're 15 yards apart so all we have to do is take the value 15 and plug it in here for the x so let's see what happens when we do that the height of the ball in feet will be equal to the opposite of 15 squared over 45 plus 4 times 15 over 3 plus 5. All right, so let's crunch some numbers here. Now remember here, we're going to have to do the squaring first, and then we take the opposite. So the height in feet is going to be equal to the opposite of 225 over 45 plus 60 over 3 plus 5. So, let's see, the height is going to be equal to, let's see here, 45 will go into 225 exactly 5 times. So that would be a negative 5 <clears throat> plus 60 divided by 3 is 20 plus 5. Uh-oh, I think we have some trouble here. Doggone it, look. The height of the ball, once again, in feet, is going to be equal to, well, look, negative 5 plus positive 5 is 0. So, boy, oh, boy, Katie's going to have to jump up 20 feet to get that ball. And Katie's kind of a small girl. I don't think she's going to catch this puppy. Oh, man, bummer. Yeah.